Another intervention that we often use is acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT. And there's a lot of growing evidence that shows that ACT can be a really effective short-term treatment, um, both for the, the treatment of IBS and for um, you know, coping with inflammatory bowel diseases and improving quality of life and resilience in, in a lot of GI conditions. And in ACT, the focus is on predominantly on increasing psychological flexibility. And they do that through a number of different kind of interventions and strategies um, with the goal of being fully present moment to moment to matching what you do and how you think with what really matters to you. Um, and the focus is on symptom management as opposed to reduction. So in ACT, the goal really is to reduce suffering. You can live a life that is high quality that is important to you, even with those symptoms being present. And in the ACT model, they use something called a hexaflex, where they um, look through these different areas that all contribute to psychological flexibility or inflexibility. And we see kind of where somebody might be stuck. So one person might be really stuck um, in experiential avoidance. They can't tolerate sensations. They're not doing things that they're not going out of their house anymore. Or they're not doing things. Um, and so, you know, for that person, the interventions may be more acceptance oriented. Um, we also use um, uh, cognitive, def uh, cognitive diffusion techniques to help people get unstuck from their thoughts, from unhelpful thought patterns. Um, and there's a lot of mindfulness techniques in this kind of orientation with the present as opposed to the past and the future. So I am going to take a minute here. Um, and there's also, excuse me, there's a ACT for IBS protocol um, that's now published. So um, this is a one group session plus health to help workbook. Um, and this can be really effective for patients and for kind of any of us who are serving in areas where patients don't come back time after time, where there's uh, maybe one or two visits and then you transition to a bibliotherapy or to infrequent visits, um, protocols like this can be really helpful. 